Hi, Todd Martin here, and this combined Tai Chi Code walking code video, we're going to extend our series looking at the techniques of the Tai Chi Yang Style 24 form, and we're going to look at the technique of Repulse Monkey. We have already gone through the previous techniques of parting the wild horse's mane, crane cools its wings, brush knee, and play the fiddle. Now we're going to transition from play the fiddle to repulse monkey. I'm gonna show this from the side view because it's much easier to see since we're traveling backwards. Let me step up here. We're gonna end play the fiddle with extension of my left hip and torsion on the right. I'm now going to turn the body and extend my right palm backwards while continuing to have my leg connected to the ground with my left heel. I'm then going to lift my left leg, retracting it while I bring my right palm to my right ear. I'm then going to step back on the ball of the foot and then I'm going to push myself backwards and strike with the right palm. I'll repeat the motion from this position. And that is the motion of repulse monkey. Let me talk to you about that movement while I'm facing forward. We're in play the fiddle. I have torsional rotation on the right, meaning I'm turning my upper torso to the left. I'm turning my lower torso to the right, tucking my right hip. And my left hip is an extension. In order to change to the beginning of repulse monkey, I'm going to flex my left hip. So we're going from extension to flexion. And I'm going to take my torsional rotation on the right, and I'm going to change it to the left. So now, as I extend my right palm backwards, my upper torso is turning to the right, but my lower torso is turning to the left, which is continuing to root my left leg, even though I'm lifting up with my left hip. So flexion of the left hip, torsion on the left. In order to collect my left leg, I'm going to change the torsional rotation to the right. So now I have upper torso turning to the left, lower torso turning to the right, now rooting my right leg, and this allows my flexing left hip to retract my left leg. Now in order to step back, and this is the first retreating step that we see in the form, I'm going to turn my upper torso, which is currently turning to the left, and I'm going to turn it to the right. When I turn my upper torso to the right, what that's going to do is have a relative backwards motion on the upper torso on the right, which was previously reaching forward at this time. Now, when that forward movement goes back, it's going to shift my weight back towards my right heel and cause my weight to step back. So from this position here and play the fiddle, I extend the right palm, lift the left leg with torsion on the right, and I step back by turning my upper torso towards the right, and that shifts my weight back. Now it's time for the repulse monkey strike, and this is where it is very critical to understand what rotations are going on in the torso, because this is going to look like a straight backwards motion of my body and a strike forward with the palm, but there are actually two motions that are going to go into this. First, I'm going to extend my right hip and I'm going to use torsion on the left. Meaning I'm going to change my root to the left, which allows my right foot to become unrooted and allows that turnout of the right foot. It allows the forefoot to lift off the ground and pivot inwards. This is how you have to do this motion safely because the root is now on the left. That's the first part of the strike. 
The second part of the strike, I'm going to take the torsional rotation on the left and change it to the right, meaning I'm going to take my upper torso, turn it to the left, take my lower torso, turn it to the right. That's what's going to bring the ball of my right foot back down to the ground and bring my left palm towards my waist and strike forwards with the right palm because my upper torso is turning in this direction. Root is turning in that direction, rooting my right leg. So it's really important in order to pivot safely that we do not try to pivot backwards while rooting this leg. You don't want to pivot on a foot while you have your root on that leg. That's going to be dangerous for your knee. So we're going to change the root to the left in the first part of the strike, then to the right to finish the strike. From the side view, I step back. I'm going to extend my right hip with torsion on the left. You can see the right foot pivot in. Then I'm going to change to torsion on the right to finish the strike. The right hip is doing the same motion throughout the strike. It's extending, trying to push my weight backwards, but it's the torsional rotation switching from left to right that allows the motion to complete. If I tried to just do one of those motions, you wouldn't get the actual strike. If I just do a torsion on the left, the motion ends here. If I do torsion on the right from here, I'm going to get that. I have to do torsion on the left followed by torsion on the right in order to get the proper strike for Repulse Monkey. Let's walk you through the Tai Chi eight techniques terms for Repulse Monkey from the side view. We are in pluck with extension of the left hip, press with flexion of the left hip, split with flexion of the left hip, elbow strike with flexion of the left hip, pluck with extension of the right hip, push with extension of the right hip. And then we go back from push to press to split to elbow strike to pluck to push.